Jamie Conlon 19110 is a student of the sport, and he has done his homework ahead of the biggest fight of his career next month. Last week it was confirmed that the Belfast Superfly will challenge IBF champion Jerwin Ankaja's 2,718,101 at the SSE Odyssey Arena on Saturday, November 18, and Conlon is well acquainted with his upcoming Filipino opponent. Ankajas made the second defense of his red belt in July in Brisbane on the many Pacquiao v Jeff Horn undercard, stopping Teru Kinoshita in the seventh, while Conlon watched on from ringside. The false roadman was down under to support his younger brother Mick, who also featured on the undercard, and got some valuable spying in too. Conlon described how I got to see the first round, and then the final couple of rounds from ringside and Jerwin was very impressive. Studying from close up, rather than on TV you get to hear the thud of a fighter's punches. It can be daunting. At the post-fight press conference, the Japanese kid's face was in bits. He was mentally and physically fket. And Jerwin's just 25, still to hit his prime. His manager introduced us, and, up close and personal, I was a lot bigger. He has been on my radar for a wee while now. Ankajas was a big underdog when he won the title, beating a very good champion McJoe Arroyo, a former world medalist and Beijing Olympian, over in the Philippines. Further analyzing his opponent, Conlon noted that for one so small, he's extremely powerful, but he's not just a brawler and a banger. He started out nice and relaxed, patient in his approach. Like all the top Asian fighters around the weight, he's extremely tough. He's got a good grasp of distance and range and systematically breaks opponents down. Once he gets inside, he's shown a ruthless finishing instinct. Though Jer wins of Southpaw, he doesn't really fight like a Southpaw. He's not at all awkward elusive one. He seems easy enough to hit. He doesn't fully capitalize on his Southpaw advantage. 30-year-old Conlon admits he is up against it, but feels confident going into the bout. The Mexican outlined how I'd be an underdog against any of the champions, but, looking at that list, Ankajas might be the weakest of the current crop. My team need to scrutinize all his tapes and come up with a master plan. At premium level, every fighter is fit and capable. It's the incidentals like home advantage and tactics on the night that make the marginal differences. While he's used to facing the Asian style, he could probably be outboxed from the outside by a big European, like myself. That's what I need to do to win the fight. If Ankajas could drag me into a war, I'd have to go really deep. He drowned Kinoshita. Remaining disciplined would be the key. I don't have a great track record I'm entering this fight with big self-belief that I can bring home the bacon. There's still a heck of a lot that I'm capable of that I've not yet shown. I really rate him, and I know I'm going to have to be at my very 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 best to beat this guy, but it's a fight I wholeheartedly, 100% believe I can win. I'm very excited, I'm excited to put on a great performance for the Belfast fans. Related.